<laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Whether you're looking for a creepy crawly Halloween party or an encounter with some fantastic beasts, our next guest can help bring your magical event to life. Amanda Winter, founder and animal specialist from Once in a Wild, is here to show us how they're ready for Halloween season and, of course, all mischief managed, right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. All right. Your first animal friend uh, can get the celebration started by bringing your invitation to Hogwarts, right? I know, right? I mean, what Hogwarts house are you repping today? It looks like Slytherin, Slytherin. or Ravenclaw, but this is Rango, and he's a Eurasian Eagle Owl, and he could probably bring your next letter to your next Harry Potter themed or spooky season themed party. He's a Eurasian Eagle Owl from Eurasia, of course. Mm -hmm. You know where that is, right? Eurasia. Eurasia. Eurasia, <laughs> Europe and Asia, Europe and of course, Asia. and even North mm -hmm. Africa. These guys are one of the largest owls in the world. And so, how good is their eyesight? Because their eyes don't move, right? Their eyes actually don't move because they're so large, because they're so well adapted to seeing in the dark. They can actually see 100 yards away in the dark and still see the fine print on a penny and read the year. They don't know what it means, but they can read it. <laughs> they can read it, okay. All right, well, our next critter gets a bad rap, including mm. being the animal of the magical house of Slytherin. Yes, yes okay. indeed. But you say they're misunderstood. Very tell misunderstood. Us, tell us Snakes in general are some of the most misunderstood misunderstood animals of in the world. Um, people are scared of them, but they're very beneficial. They eat a lot of rodents for us, as do owls. Owls and snakes uh, have the same diet. So <laughs> this is a animal. king snake. How did it get the name? Yeah, so he's a California king snake. His name is Slytherin, by the way, <laughs> which is very appropriate for today. And um, these guys get the name the king snake, which there are several species, by the way, in the Americas. They actually eat other snakes, including venomous snakes. Isn't that incredible? Really? What kind? Like what's rattlesnakes, what copperheads, coral snakes, really anything they can get a hold of. Look at you! They're immune to the venom. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Okay, all right. So uh, they can't blink. Is correct. that right? That is correct. So the owl can blink just fine with his yeah. big, beautiful eyes. The snakes of all species, all snakes have no eyelids. They have what we call spectacle scales, which sounds like glasses, right? So I know y'all like, at home were totally watching to see if it would blink because I almost, was. <laughs> almost like little uh, goggles on their eyes. It protects their eyes, but they see straight through them and you cannot win a staring contest with any snake. Oh, so you can say, try it. No, 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 you no. You're, a, you're staring like a boss right now. Okay, and the black and white pattern, Where? why that? Good question. So some snakes have patterns that stand out in order to warn their enemies. Because believe it or not, he might be a predator, but he also has predators too. He's somewhere in between uh, in the food chain, right? So he's got to look out for predators that might harm him. So having a, a strange pattern, almost like a skunk, will tell other animals' brains like, I probably should leave that alone just in case. <laughs> nice! But it's actually mimicry for him. He's not a dangerous snake to anything other than a small animal that he might eat. All right. Our <laughs> next animal could have you, you know, Maybe holding your own Hungarian horntail, perhaps? Yeah, that's what she reminds me of. This is a bearded dragon, and her name is Debbie, but she's um, costuming today as a Hungarian horntail for mm -hmm. Harry Potter season. Um, she's a bearded dragon. These guys are actually an Australian species. Okay, so what do they eat? Um, bearded dragons are super eaters. They can eat almost anything. They're omnivores, kind of like people. So they have lots of food choices, which helps them survive in the wild. And they have different habitat choices in Australia. So lots of different food choices too. <laughs> and so her coloring, can mm -hmm. that change? It can. A lot of lizards have color changing abilities on their skin. It's called chromatophores. They're like little pores on their skin and they will, um, basically open and close in order to give the illusion of color change. They change color for something you probably wouldn't expect though. Do you know why they change color? Why? And this is fear? all lizards. What? All lizards. So they might change color to show their mood. So it could be fear. It could be just general moodiness. It could be excitement to communicate. It can also be um, to change their temperature though as well. Because of course they're cold blooded animals, right? That doesn't mean they're bad. They're just cold blooded. They change their temperature with dark and light colors. Okay. Cool, huh? <laughs> all right. Our next critter, of course, uh, you can find in the forbidden forest, Ooh. right? Oh, which one are we doing? Oh, wait, next? which one are we doing? Sorry. Should we do this Let's one? Do, yep, that sorry. is fine. We can do this one. Mm -hmm. This is going to be Francis the African bullfrog, or I mean, not so chocolate Ooh. frog. <laughs> Ooh. Who? Francis. Ooh, that's who Francis, we're talking about that's now. right. Okay. <laughs> so she's an African bullfrog, but she is not full grown. Okay, and they have a different type of teeth than most, right? Oh yes, so African bullfrogs are one of the few type of frogs to have big teeth. Most frogs have like tiny little teeth or almost no teeth at all, little ridges, but these guys you don't want to get bitten by because they have three giant vampire teeth on their bottom jaw. 
Is that Ouch. right? Can I just see that? How big is she going to get? These guys or possibly? The, yeah, possibly the size of a volleyball. Typically, the males are bigger than females, though. And <laughs> they do something like hibernating, but they not? They do. What is so it? they're from Africa, and Africa doesn't have a winter time. It has two seasons, which is dry and wet. So during the dry season, a frog is not happy. So they have to go to sleep, and they do what we call estivate. It's kind of like hibernation for a dry or hot season. But oh, they have okay. to wait it out. They go underground and just sleep the season away <laughs> and wake up when it rain comes back. <laughs> Look at that. All right. Pretty cool. <laughs> We've got about 30 seconds left, but no speaking problem. of underground, yep, that's where we can find these guys, right? Just like Aragog, might be mm -hmm. a little bit spooky to some, but this is a tarantula named Blondie. She's an Arizona blonde tarantula species. And these guys live underground, typically in a desert habitat. So they don't really drink any water at all. They just kind of um, hang out underground and wait for their food to come to the door and they'll grab it. And that could be like things like insects, right? <laughs> and they are venomous. They are venomous but no tarantula species is deadly to humans, so they're harmless to humans. Okay, yeah. all right. Tell <laughs> folks, of course, how you can come to them. Excellent. So if you check out onceinawild.com, you'll find more information there on how we can visit your next spooky season party or really anything at all. Harry Potter themes are really, really popular, of course, for the owl and all the creatures you see today. But we've got all sorts of different animal choices on the screen there that you can choose from. Uh, birthday parties, nursing homes, classrooms, all sorts of things. We'd love to see you soon. All right, Amanda <laughs> from Once in a Wild, thank you so much. Don't forget, you can see Once in a Wild at the annual Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Fest, which is coming up at the end of the month, October 29th, from 4 to 8 p.m. at the San Antonio Botanical Garden. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.